Japan's chief cabinet secretary, Yoshihide Suga, has been elected as the new leader of the country's ruling party. Suga is now all set to become Japanese next, Japan's next prime minister. Suga, who is outgoing Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's close aide, won the Liberal Democratic Party's leadership election. He will be succeeding Abe as the party chief. Uh, the victory has virtually ensured that Suga will also replace Abe as the Prime Minister of the country. The Japanese parliament will vote to pick the next Prime Minister on Wednesday. The LDP enjoys a majority in the lower house and has a coalition in the upper chamber. 71-year-old Suga is expected to serve as the Prime Minister till 2021, when the next general elections will be held. Suga is likely to continue with Abe's policies, considered more of a behind-the-scenes operator than a frontline leader. Suga recently enhanced his public image by unveiling Japan's new imperial era called Reva. Suga, who was also born in a family of strawberry farmers, began his political career as a local assembly man. Shinzo Abe is Japan's longest serving prime minister. He announced his resignation last month over health issues. And earlier we spoke to Professor James D.J. Brown, an international affairs expert. Listen in to what he shared with us. Gosh, well, some people might say that really it's almost a curse to become Prime Minister of Japan at this time. Uh, just a number of issues, both domestic and uh, in terms of foreign policy. So domestically, of course, there's the COVID crisis and the economic impact that that's having on Japan. Uh, that's been affecting many countries. But in Japan's case, it was already a situation of a shrinking economy in the last quarter of 2019 before the impact of the pandemic. Internationally, too, it's a situation of Japan facing an aggressive China, uh, facing a nuclear-armed North Korea, and facing a situation where its uh, long-term ally, the United States, is seen as more unreliable than it was in the past. Absolutely. You can really regard um, the um, administration of Prime Minister Abe as being a, a joint administration with Suga playing such a key role within it. So with Suga uh, taking over, he's really just moving from one office to another. And we can expect really very significant continuity between the two. So that applies to the economy with Abenomics. It also applies to foreign policy too.